Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss the conceptual framework and its purpose. First, let us uh, review about independent variable and dependent variable. So, independent variable affects dependent variable. So, these are the two variables, the important variables in research. Independent variable is the investigator manipulates. And the dependent variable is the participant's response depends on manipulates. So again, when you say independent variable, is the variable that is changed or controlled in a research to test the effects on the de dependent variable. A dependent variable is being tested and measured in scientific experiment. The dependent variable is the variable is dependent on the independent variable. As the experiment changes, the independent variable, the effect on the dependent variable is observed and recorded. For example, uh, the research title is about the effects of use of social media in the academic performance of students in mathematics. So what will be our independent variable? So, independent variable is the use of social media and the dependent variable is the academic performance. So, academic performance depends on the use of social media. Uh, let us define the following definition of the conceptual framework. First is the alternative hypothesis. It is denoted by H sub 1 or H sub A is the hypothesis that sample observation are influenced by some non-random cause. Concept, an intellectual representation of some aspects of reality that is derived from the observations made from certain phenomena. Conceptualization, the process of forming basic ideas, designs, plans, or strategic base on given facts, situation, and examples. Framework. Described as the abstract, logical structure, or meaning that guide the development of the study. All frameworks are based on the identification of any concepts and relationships among these concepts. Proportions, a statement or assertion of the relationship between concepts derived from theories or generalization based on the empirical data. Null hypothesis, the null hypothesis denoted by H sub O or H sub 0 is usually the hypothesis that sample observations result purely from chance. Variables, this signifies a more concrete level and are narrow in their definitions. So, a variable is pure, specific, and is measurable. So, a conceptual framework represents the researcher's synthesis or literature on how to explain a certain phenomenon. It maps out the action required during the study given his her previous knowledge of other researchers' point of view and his observations about the research. In the other words, the conceptual framework is the researcher's understanding on how the variables in the study connect with each other. Thus, it identifies the variables required in the research investigations. It is the researcher's map in pursuing the investigation. The conceptual framework sets the stage for the presentation of the research questions that drives the investigation being reported based on the problem statement. The problem statement of the research presents the context issues that cause the researcher to conduct the study. The conceptual framework lies with a much broader framework called theoretical framework. The latter draws support from time-tested theories that embody the findings of many research researchers on why and how a particular phenomenon occurs. 
what is the purpose of conceptual framework? So the conceptual framework this is the researcher's own perception. This is for to clarify concepts and propose relationships among the concept of the study. Another, to provide the context for interpreting the study findings. And also, to explain observation and to encourage theory development that is useful practice. Steps in developing conceptual framework. Number one, choose your topic. So you can decide on what will be your research topic. The topic should be within your field of specialization. Do a literature review. Review relevant and updated research on the theme that you decide to work. And after scrutiny of this issue at hand, preferably use peer review and well-known scientific journals as these are reliable sources of information. Literature is one of the key points to have an effective conceptual framework. Number three, isolate the important variables. Identify the dependent and independent variables. Remember, on your research topic itself, you must identify the variables needed. And number four, generate the conceptual framework. So in generating the conceptual framework, remember that the independent variable is the reason or the causes and the dependent variables is the effects or the outcome. So for example, so here are some conceptual framework that represent the relationship between the hours of study our sub studies the independent variable and the exam score and this is our dependent variables so let us follow the four steps discussed uh, a while ago so first step one the research topic so what is the research topic effectiveness of our sub study and the exam score we are going to represent the relationship of the study hours and the exam score Step 2. This come up the importance of related literatures in your research. So a series of readings that related to your research topic. So review articles. And step 3. Isolate the research topic. So here, uh, you're going to identify only the variables needed on your research. So, like for example, the dependent variable and the independent variable. So, the dependent variables is the hours of study and the independent variables is the exam score. And last, generate the conceptual framework. So, hours of study should be the independent variable and the exam score that is the dependent variable. Okay, so interchange lang natin ito. So again, the independent variable is the hours of study and the dependent variable is the exam score. Another example, conceptual framework in the hypothesis. So service quality to the trust. So and then trust or the employee to service quality. The service quality to consumer loyalty. So what are the hypotheses? For hypothesis number one, there is a positive relationship between service quality, service quality is the independent variable, and trust, the dependent variable. For hypothesis number two, there is no positive relationship between employee or the independent variable and the service quality, which is our dependent variable. And for hypothesis number three, there is no positive relationship between trust or independent variable and uh, customer loyalty or that is the consumer loyalty, our dependent variable. So another example, uh, the title is about causes, effects, and prevention of anxiety among students ages 15 to 21 in La Consolation College of Manila. So uh, here is the example of conceptual framework. 
Okay, so the causes and the effects and then the prevention. Another example, the title is about utilization of magnetic induction for powering a prototype made LED flashlight. So from LED custom flashlight, next is experiment of flashlight through shaking and observations to results of the previous experiment and data gathered. So from here is the product is effective and efficient, which is, so ito yung dalawang result na, no? So ito yung possible na magiging result. The product is effective and efficient, which is a beneficial way to obtain light in for emergency uses. Or, the product is not effective way to obtain in case of emergency. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson your Walmart channel.